Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute hippopotamus from start to finish. You'll need to know the basic knowledge of making a magic circle, single crocheting, a single crochet increase, and a single crochet decrease. If you need help with those stitches, you can check down in the description below on my videos of how to do those kinds of crochet techniques. So you will need any color of medium weight yarn, some scissors, two eight millimeter safety eyes, and if I can pick it up, the backings to those safety eyes. <laughs> you will need a stitch marker. You can use any kind of stitch mark you want. For me, I prefer using string as my stitch marker, so that's what you'll see in this video. You will need a tapestry needle for sewing everything together, and you will need a four, mil four millimeter size G crochet hook, and polyester fiber fill, or any filling of stuffing that you prefer. So to get started, we are gonna create our magic circle, and we are gonna work four single crochets into our magic circle, and this is for creating the ears for our hippopotamus. So we have our round one, round two, because we're not joining any of our stitches, you are going to increase in every stitch, which means working two single crochets into the next stitch and so forth. Now you'll notice that I'm not using a stitch marker. It's because the ear is only four rows, five rows, hmm. and I, I uh, don't really need that because I can count it. <laughs> So once we've finished round two, rounds three and four, we are just going to work eight single crochets in the round. So that is round three. So we're gonna start round four. All right, and almost done. Round five, we are going to do two single crochets together. So you insert your hook in one loop and into the next one and stitch them together. So it's a single crochet decrease. And you should be ending your work with four stitches total. So here we're coming up on our last decrease. And there you have it, one ear done. Now, if you need help with any of these stitches, again, do check down in the description below on how to do a single crochet decrease and a single crochet increase. So now we've snipped our yarn and we are going to go ahead and just fasten off this string. You do not stuff the ears at all, but you will need a long tail for sewing the ears to the top of the head. And with the magic of editing, we now have two ears. We have our ears done. We are going to go ahead and set them aside. And we are going to start working on the hippo's feet. Now for this, you will need to make four feet. 
So to get started, you're going to make for round one, you want to start your magic circle with working six single crochets into your magic circle. And here you'll see me using my string for my stitch marker. And if you're unfamiliar with this technique, it's pretty much just weaving it in and out through your work. It never gets crocheted into your work. It's just kind of woven in and out. Now for row two, round two, you want to increase in every single stitch. So that's two single crochets in each stitch in the round. I'm just tightening my tail right there for my work and now I'm gonna weave back over my stitch marker and for row round <laughs> three and five you're just gonna cro single crochet in each stitch And here we're coming up on the last round, round five. We have finished one foot, so go ahead and just snip your yarn. You want to leave a long tail again for sewing. Pull out your stitch marker, bloop, and go ahead and just fasten off your work. And you'll want to make three more of these for a total of four little legs. Now that we have our four little legs, so cute. And lastly, we will be working on the tail. This is the last little bit before we start working on the body. So you wanna leave a little bit of a fray at the end because we'll end up giving him that cute little tail fluff. And this tail is super easy. You just chain seven, snip your yarn, and fasten off. Again, you need a long end for sewing the tail into the body. And then we'll fray the end, other end of the yarn uh, later. Before we get started on making the head and body, Zazel, my cute little cat, has decided to remind everybody that if you're finding this video helpful, it really does help the channel if you give it a like. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I plan to upload uh, videos on free crocheting on Magurumi every Mon the first Monday of every month. Now to get started on the head and body, 
we are going to work round one as a magic circle, working six single crochets into that magic circle. Nope, another drive-by cat. <laughs> If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that my my three cats like to make their own little appearances in the video. They're just too darn cute. So now that we have our magic circle with our six single crochets, I'm just going to put my stitch marker in here. And we're going to work on round two, which is increasing in each stitch. All the way around. Round three, we're gonna continue with some increasing of our work. So to do this, we're going to do a single crochet and then an increase into the next stitch. So single crochet, increase in the next stitch. And we will repeat this all the way to the end of the round. Round four, we're gonna continue increasing our circle. So to do that, we are going to work a single crochet, followed by another single crochet, and then an increase into the next stitch. So two single crochets in the next two stitches, and then an increase into the next. And we will repeat this all the way to the end of the round. All right, here we go. And now this part, super easy. Rows five through 15. We are just gonna be single crocheting in every single stitch in the round. So for round, round five, it's just single crocheting in each stitch. Row six is the same, single crocheting in every stitch. All right, just gonna do a bit of fast forwarding. And here we are on round 15, single crocheting in each stitch. Had to speed things along just a little bit with the magic of video editing.
Now this part that you're crocheting is the body of the hippopotamus. All right, now for row 16. So what we are going to do is we are going to work two single crochets in the next two stitches, followed by working a single crochet decrease. So it's two single crochets, followed by a single crochet decrease. And we're gonna work this all the way around. And what this is doing is this is going to create the definition between the head and the body. All right. So round 17, we are going to increase in the next four stitches. So in the first stitch, we are going to work two single crochets, and this is going to give that little hump on the top of the hippo's head. So increase in the next stitch. Increase again in the third stitch. And increase again in the fourth stitch. Then, after we've done that, we are just going to single crochet in the next 14 stitches to the end of the round. All right, now we're coming up onto round 18. We are going to single crochet one and increase in the next stitch. And we're gonna do this three more times for a total of four. So single crochet, increase in the next stitch. Single crochet, increase in the next stitch. And single crochet, increase in the next stitch. Then we are just going to work 14 single crochets all the way around to the end of the round. Then rounds 19 and 20 are going to be super easy. We're just single crocheting in each stitch into the round. All right, that was round 19, so now we're gonna start round 20, and that is going to be, again, just single crocheting in each stitch in the round.
Now we're starting round 21 and this one's gonna be just a little bit different. So to get started, it's gonna be a single crochet, two together to start off, followed by a single crochet. And we'll repeat that three more times. So it's a decrease, followed by a single crochet. A decrease, followed by a single crochet, and then a decrease, followed by a single crochet. Now what makes this different is in the next 14 stitches, you are going to be increasing in each stitch. So it'll be working two single crochets in each stitch until the end of the round. And what this is doing is this is gonna give the hippopotamus more of a fuller face. See how that's giving it a more fuller face look. All right, round 22, we are going to single crochet two together or decrease in the next four stitches. So we're gonna decrease one, decrease two, decrease three, and decrease four. And then we are going to single crochet in the next 28 stitches and this is just giving that hump on the top of his head its final form All right, now for round 23 and 24, we are just gonna be single crocheting in the round in every stitch. Round 24, again, we're just going to single crochet in every stitch.
All right, round 25. You can see how it's getting those cute, fat little cheeks. So for round 25, we're gonna start off by single crocheting in the next six stitches. followed by doing a single crochet two together or a decrease and then single crocheting two decrease single crochet two decrease single crochet two and we just repeat this all the way to the end until we have two stitches left and in the last two stitches of this round, you will just do two single crochets. round 26 we are going to single crochet again in the first six stitches then we will be doing a decrease again so it'll be single crochet two together and single crochet in the next stitch so decrease single crochet decrease single crochet and we repeat this for a total of six times for the whole entire round and then you will just work two single crochets in the last two stitches of the round when you get there and coming up is my favorite part of a project is adding the eyes to your amigurumis. It just brings everything to life. Now I'm just gonna pull my yarn a little bit so I can take my hook out. And you'll want to attach your safety eyes between rounds 21 and 22. It should be right around the base of the hump on the top of his head. And you want the eyes six stitches apart now sometimes you might want to put your eyes closer together or farther apart or anywhere in between this is just my recommendation for where the eyes should go so after a lot of finessing because I'm OCD about where my eyes look and if it looks weird then I gotta fuss with it so now that I'm happy with where my eyes are which again is between rounds 21 and 22 and six stitches apart, you are going to want to attach your safety eyes backings. So you just put it on and press. You just want to lock it in place. We'll take the other backing and put that on. Again, it's just pressing it into place and locking it. Bloop. Safety eyes. All right, and then the next step is we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing our hippo with our polyester fiber fill or whatever type of stuffing you choose to use. I just like using my polyester fiber fill because this one is hyperallergenic, so it's much easier for people with allergies. And just stuff it all in there. Now, if you're doing the stitch marker with the string, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally tuck that string in with your polyester fiber fill. Ask me how I know. <laughs> All right, we're in the home stretch. Three more rounds. 
So for round 27, we are going to start off by doing a decrease and two single crochets into the neck into the next two stitches. And this is going to be repeated five times for the whole entire round. So it's a decrease followed by two single crochets in the next two stitches. Decrease and single crochet in the next two stitches. And repeat this until the end of the round. All right, round 28, we are going to stitch two together or decrease in the first stitch, first section, followed by a single crochet. And we'll repeat this again five times. So it's a de decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet. And just repeat this till the end of the round. So round 29, our last round, we are just going to be doing five decreases all the way around. Now, if you get to this point after your last round and you've fastened off, you'll probably want to add some little bit more stuffing to fill out the rest of the face. Because right here you'll see that my face isn't completely full so I'm going to end up stuffing some more stuffing into it. But we're going to pull out our stitch marker bloop, and fasten off our work. Again leaving a long tail for sewing the front of the face shut. Alright I'm going to stuff that. So now that I have the front of his face fully stuffed. I'm going to try to thread my tapestry needle. There we go. And I'm just going to stitch the front of his face shut to the best of my ability to make it look even. So I'll stitch it shut, fasten off my work. And then what I end up doing to hide the tail of my work, once I got it fastened off, is I'll insert my needle into the front of where my knot is and then have it poke out somewhere else in his body. And then that, it ended up being his chin. <laughs> and then just snip it off there and that just kind of keeps the end of your work from poking and fraying back out. And now you are going to attach his ears to the top of his head like so on each side of the little hump on his head followed by attaching all four of his cute little feet. Oh, so adorable. Then what we will do is we're going to work on fraying his tail. And all you do is twist your yarn in the opposite direction from where in the direction it has been twisted and just pull all those little strings apart. Now you might be wondering why didn't I see you attach any of the, the ears or the feet to the body. It's because when I sew things on I have a tendency to pull things very close to me so I can see what I'm doing and most of the time I'm out of frame for my video. <laughs> so that's why you didn't see me attach the ears or the feet. But now that we have the tail frayed and I snipped the end just to make it a little bit shorter so it's not too long, I'm going to locate where the center of my magic circle is from where we started and I'm going to, in, I'm going to stitch his tail about 
two rounds above where we started in the beginning. So we're just going to attach his cute little tail. And it doesn't need to be anything too fancy. I'm just tying off my work. And again, I'm going to hide my string by inserting my tapestry needle and pulling it through at some point in time in his body and then snipping the yarn and that hides the tail of your work. And there you have it, one happy yellow hippo. Yay! Now, if you feel ambitious, you can put little nostrils on. But I'm not good at embroidering, so I'm not doing it for this video. But there you go, how to crochet a happy hippo. Now, if you wanna find a paid for version for this pattern, you can check it out on my Etsy, or you can go to my Ravelry where you can find this pattern for free. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do hope that you have a happy crocheted day.